had a few more kids, but I'm still the top bitch. Fuck the hicks, cause they know I'm still the top bitch. They do it with candies, cause I'm on the joysticks. They all come in for candies, cause I is the top bitch. Hello, you ejaculate of the masses. Jim Sterling here, and this is Candice de Bebe's Scandalous Secrets. It's the follow-up to a game from many years ago called Candy Stabebe's Incredibly Trick Lifestyle, which was haunting. It was upsetting. I've had shrimp trips that were less unsettling. And here we are with the sequel. Um, unlike the original, which was a 3D adventure game with shooting in it, this is more of a platform game, I guess. Um, we're playing from an autosave because it crashed here when I was playing it originally, so I've just started from here because you didn't miss much. It wasn't quite as wild and, and weird as the original. Uh, to begin with, um, just a lot of very boring dialogue. So we're here in the gameplay section, which is just a visual fucking nightmare with this character Sebador here with his bitch sword. That's the bitch sword, that's what they call that. And we've got to try and do some wall jumping here, which... Oh god. There you go. Cool. So we've just got to basically hit it and then move back up. Whoa! Did not ask for that to happen. Right. So yeah, this is just a nightmare. A nightmare for the eyes to enjoy, basically. With that singing that doesn't stop, that's just carrying on with auto-tune and everything. Now, as near as I can tell, the Candy Stabebe games are made by one person alone in a bed sit where nobody goes because they're scared. We can collect these stars, but I don't want to. I'll collect them if they're easy to get. So yeah, it's disappointingly almost a side-scrolling platform, and don't get me wrong, I like 2D platformers. But the game did tell you that the game, the world might be a bit flatter than we remember it. Uh, this is one of those games that hilariously likes to reference the fact that it's a game. The kind of thing that will make you do pointless, shitty, busy work. But because it's saying it's making you do that, they think... Uh, it looks like a goldfish bowl. So I just take it hand. Now, I'm not stupid enough to not realise that weird, weird beaky thing is about to attack me when I pick this up. Ah, typical. Knew it couldn't be that easy. Oh, well. Looks like it's time to test out my training. Alright. Hup. Ow. Hup. Well, that sucked. Hup. Ow. Hup. Hup. This is... That was very unpleasant. Oh, oh. Oh, so piss off, piss off, now. Piss, oh. piss, piss off, piss off, it's piss off. To say to ow, ow, ow. ow. <laughs> no! <laughs> that was... Why? Oh, so I just take... Blah, 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 oh. yeah, 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 big time, big time, mate. Ow. ow. This is... I can't quite... It's one of those games that just... It feels so bad to control and play that just looking at it won't give you an idea of the bad, upsetting, sad time I'm having that... Yeah, that was a hit waiting to happen. Oh, God, it... Such little damage is being dealt. And I'm like, what, maybe one or two hits at best? Away from having to do this again? I don't want to do it again. No, no, no. One missed time jump and it's all over, folks. Oh, we may actually do it. Yeah. That was exhausting. But look, a handily timed exit has appeared. You see, it's self-referential. Let's get out of here and back to bitch idiot. I think sometimes this game is an exercise in the criminal, not the developer, the criminal responsible for this. I think it's an exercise for them into how many ways they can use the word bitch. And none of them, aside from the fact that bitch rhymes with witch, that's the only bit of wordplay we ever see. Otherwise, it's bitch sword and bitch idiot. Just things that don't really mean anything. How do I get over there? Oh, there's a ladder there, so I guess... Have I got to go all the way back manually? 
Oh my fucking god. Her fucking piss. And God forgive me for saying that, but piss. Alright, well, back to the beginning. Here's hoping it doesn't crash this time. So I must confess, this is nowhere near as... As... I don't want to say funny, because that implies anything was intentional, but the last one was such a hot train wreck that there was some twisted joy to be had from it. This one crashed. That's what this one did. This one just crashed. That's all it seems to do. Okay, I reloaded the game after the second crash I've had with it in about 20 minutes, and here we are. I got past all of that platforming shit, it was just the same you'd already seen but backwards. And here we are in the overworld, there's a nice look at the horrible, horrible protagonist Sebador. It's just a mess, just a horrible hot mess. Um, I don't know what it is, but the criminal responsible for this game has somehow managed to nail the look of in-game plasticine. This looks like a child smushing up modelling clay. And more than any other game, they've nailed what, more than Little Big Planet, what child's building materials looks like. They've not harnessed that power for good, only for evil. So let's, let's go along here. We've not seen what's in the magic jail. Some of these buildings you can walk into, some you can't. Okay. There's just a fella there behind bars. Can't interact with them. Let's go. I feel like we're on borrowed time, because... You know, we gotta play this while it's still running. So anyway, talk to yes. Natalia here. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Well done, Sebador. You have truly proven yourself by collecting this artifact. As a magical bitch, I am truly proud of how this performance evaluation has succeeded. So as you can see, it's just an excuse to say the word bitch in any line of dialogue possible. Yes, yes, ease upon the praise. I know this wasn't just some arbitrary test. Even I can feel the formidable magical energy coming from this weird helmet. Tell me. This whole game's a exactly? weird helmet. And what do you want to do with it? Why was it hidden away in that cave? <laughs> the singing hasn't yes, stopped. Indeed. One day, Sebador, when you are ready. I shall reveal the secrets of the magical bitches to you. You are right to be inquisitive, of course. Indeed, you remind me so much of her. Her? Who, exactly? You know what? I'm actually kind of glad, even though the dialogue's terrible, I'm kind of glad that there's a lot of talking, because if so some of you may know, I'm a professional wrestler on the side, uh, as a hobby slash side gig. Um, and last night, I experienced my first truly stiff punches. Um, I got clocked in the lower jaw. One of those ones where it just feels like the entire jaw almost got ripped off of the rest of the skull. Hurts to chew, even. So I'm probably going to have, have a few a few lost pounds that I need to lose because I'm probably just going to be on applesauce for a few days um, that's how bad it is um, it hurts to talk a bit as well um, my shoulders dinged, I took two chair shots to the back, it was a hell of a night so I come, I bring this video to you at great physical cost to myself and great mental cost um, you know the body was broken last night Candice to Bebe's here to finish off the I used to get emails from Candice to Bebe written in character, presumably from whoever's responsible for this Why? Imagine that. Obvious? Imagine that. Whoa. Oh, yeah. God. It's Candice. Oh, no. Oh, that's a chair, is it? I thought it was Rom the Vacuous Spider for a minute. Alright. Okay, so this is Candice to Bebe. You can see those arse physics. They've really... Oh, my God. Imagine living your life as this twisted monstrosity, as any character in the Candice, the Candice to Bebe expanded universe. Just twisted, eldritch beasts. Um, we don't need to rest, so no. Ah, stop it. Go away. All right. I'm still playing I don't even know what to make of anything. I'm Where are we supposed to be going anyway? 
Oh, there we are. That's good to have the way out behind the camera. Which I don't think we can move around. I don't think so, no. Oh, no, no, this is where we were already, wasn't it? Jesus. Oh, no, that was the exit was behind the camera. I think the lyric there was, I've got my cash, got my gash, and I've got my swag on. Brilliant. How brilliant. Well, this has lasted a bit longer than usual, I think. Oh, God, no. I, uh, I did not need that Lovecraftian terror in my face. Ori, you rat minger. Oh, can't leave you over here. Leaving a bougie castle to come see us commoners. <sighs> this is the candy debate I remember. Oh, Jerry, you look... Well, yeah, I do look well, actually, you minga. Why do you live in a castle anyway? So I'm going to have to ask a question I asked when I played the original game many years ago. Has something happened in England? Has something happened in England where what is funny has changed? Because, again, I, I will not say this isn't funny... Because humour is subjective. It is distressing, but I won't say it's not funny. Is this funny? Is is this, like, a joke in England now? Because it's nothing I recognise. And I recognise the word minger. I remember that from childhood. Because I'm the queen of rap, in it. What? A fucking what? More like a benefits queen. Ooh. Okay. Don't hate that player, hate that game, babes. XX. That doesn't even make sense, because just a moment ago, whatever this horrific yeah. character was doing was, was having a go at Candice to Bebe for... Why is there the same old lady in the windows of those houses in the background? But anyway, she was having a go at her for being rich, and now she's having a go at her for being on benefits. Hypocrites. Hypocrisy. That's David Cameron turning the working class on each other. Oh no, it's Theresa May now, isn't it? And you know it's insane. It's not better. All right, well that was that. Oh my God! Imagine waking up to see that just staring down at you. That's enough of that. Right. So I don't know. Oh God. So this must be the edge of the world. We can't go down further than that. Good to know. So we got all these like trailer houses. And Candice is the queen. Where the hell am I supposed to be going? Oh, we weren't at the edge. It was just there were houses we couldn't see in front of us. That makes sense. Shall we? Shall we have another upsetting conversation? Let's go for it. All right, Candice, love. <sighs> yeah, thanks, Brandy. Oh, ooh. Looking a bit pale, though, to be honest. I need a bit of glow in me. Yeah. Well, sorry, love. We've run out of the calming colouring that gives me fake tan. It's characteristic brandy power. Uh, hold on a minute, brands. I feel like we've had this conversation before, to be honest. We have, love. You know you've always been so good at collecting it for us. But you've been so busy with all your rapping just lately, and we've run out of stock. Yeah, who are right, Brandy, and I'm right. Sorry for that, babes. Tell you what, I'll go and get some from the local woods, just like I always used to all them years ago. <laughs> Why am I playing this? Thanks, love. You're an absolute babe. You know what to do. Go right to the end of the forest and beat the big red boss beetle. You see, they know they're in a game. That's what makes it funny, everyone. Right will do, Brands. See you later, babes. All right, love. Let's go. Let's go fight the boss to get the carmine colour in. All right, babes. I'm Candy's to baby. I'm Candy's to baby. I'm Candy's to baby. I'm going right here just because she said go right, but I think that was just for the how to play the level. Oh. We're in an overworld. This is all very similar to the last game. And there we are, back to the platform. Oh, good. A new song. That was something about uh, a magical beaver. Rhyming that with diva. So, oh, I guess we've got to equip our weapon here. Magical beaver. 
Uh, what the hell? That's our bullet. Our bullet's gone off to the left side of the screen. Let's try that again. Oh, okay. It, sorry, it was the right button for the sword earlier, but it's changed now to the left button to shoot the bullets. This is a lot easier than using that sword. Why the hell did we have to deal with that other character? That wall jumping is horrible. Is she saying wank every time she jumps? Why? It's very annoying, and it's very loud in the mix. <sighs> Again, do we have to go? No. You know what? I'm fine with that. That'll do. Yeah, these bullets are almost broken. Why the hell did we bother with that other character? And just to stay up here, it'll be fine. Well, this must be a very long platform for that big bear thing to not come back. Oh, there it is. And nope. Boink. We'll just try jumping Boink. over. No fucking bollocks. Shit. Fuck. Shit. I'm about to teach you. Come on. It's so fast. No. Boink. Well, I got Boink. very stuck there. Boink. So the characters automatically Boink. cling to walls and platforms Boink. if they so much as touch them. Boink. And that's very uh, inconvenient. Boink. I can't tell if this is the boss we're in a fight or not. Ow! But it's taking fucking forever. Where did you come from, you little bastard? Boink. Get off the wall, you fucking wanker! Boink. This is not good times for me to play for you. Boink. That fucking little one keeps coming out. Boink. Get off the... No! I hate all of this. Boink. This is... This is worse than the last time around. I don't know what any of that said. I was too busy hitting Boink. the button. I guess we just go back. Boink. I couldn't read what that said because I was closing the dialogue box is the same as the button shooting. Why couldn't it have just been the right stick? Boink. 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 You know what? Let's use a potion. Get a health back. That's fun. Boink. We'll just try and Boink. make wild. Ow. Fuck. We'll just try and make long wild jumps and see if that gets us out of trouble. Obviously not over that, we won't clear that. Boink. Okay. I hate it every time Candy says yow. I hate it. Okay, so we're here again. Again, I can't stand the song. This song I hate the most. There's something about the way she says yow at the beginning. It just drives me up the fucking wall. Oh my god, her head's massive now. Of course, of course her head is massive now. Oh, oh, Brandy, who did this? What has happened to ooh? Tell me where they are so I can, you can stop that. In. You can stop saying ooh instead of you. Oh, Candice, nobody inflicted this terrible curse on me. My body's disappeared and I've become grandma. This has been caused by my old age love. <laughs> okay. Okay, that actually made me laugh. I don't know why. I, I don't know why that made me laugh, but okay. We'll chalk that up to a successful joke. 
I don't know what the joke was, but her head is big because she got old. But Brandy, who are still so glam? You can't be that old, X, eh? Ooh, thanks, love. And I know I look good for my age, but I'm 86 years old. Love it, hell, Brandy. Where has that time gone? Ooh, I know, love, but we can't float about reminiscing. There are fake towns to be performed. Without my body, the populace of the trailer park will succumb to a fate worse than death. But, Tonic! As a player of the Candies to Bebe games, I can confirm there are worse fates than bad tanning or death. Oh, don't worry, Brandy. I'll save you. Somehow. I wish there was someone I could beat up to make this all go away. Right. I take issue with this dialogue. She said, I'll save you, but this one is actually spelled properly, you, so she should have said you. That's an inconsistency in the Candice to Bebe expanded universe, and I hope someone got fired for that blunder. Candice, love, I'm sure you can use your other skills to save the day somehow. Your towering intellect. Yes, you're right, Brandy. For starters, I'd better go and get an ex-expert opinion on the matter. Oh, fuck Time off. for me to go see their grandma queen in Gran Canaria. I'm going to go on a little boat trip, I think. To the docks. Thanks, love. I'll be here floating till then. Please, save me from this grisly grandbase fate. Okay then, to the docks. Where are the docks? I don't know where the docks are. I'm guessing they're out in the overworld somewhere. Since, you know, that area's landlocked. So we'll go find wherever the... I mean, this is somewhat at the edge of the world. All right. Oh, God. Why do the eyes have to protrude like they're on some sort of horrible yeah. stalk? Or they're like frog people. Think, Actually, there is a hole. Again, like, I, I think I mentioned Lovecraft earlier in the video. Coming, there is very much a, an intimate feel to these residents. We're not open for business. So if you want to catch a boat, you can bugger off. And don't you try anything either, you magical bitch. Okay. Blooming hell, it's you, Dave. Still working here, are you? Years haven't been so kind to you, Dorothy. Looking a bit portly and your airline's receding. Well, I mean, I can sympathise with that. No, I've still got it, Candice. It never went away. And you can't come past. I'm going to go out on a limb. And it's not just because of this bit of dialogue, but I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that the creator of Candice de Bebe was a massive fan of Bo Selector. That's just a guess. Yeah, whatever, Dave. We always do this dance. But we both know I'm going to threaten you with transport for our kid and all get out of the way. No, anything but child support. Oh. Fucking hell. Wait. Surely our kid must be over 18 now. Ew. I don't know. She still looks pretty youthful to me, Dave. Now move, or bear the full brunt of Candice de Bebe. No one could survive the full brunt of Candice de Bebe. Fine, but don't cause no trouble. Alright, so we can go past. Brilliant. So this is following the same track as Candice de Bebe's incredibly trick lifestyle. Ah, pretty darling. I oh, got no. your boat looking spick and span for any nautical trips you need to go on. No, Just no, no, push no, no, no. it into the water mm. when you need it. Mm. If there's one thing I hate, hate, it's British people doing American accents. Not all the time. If they can do a good one, obviously. Like, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Parapod podcast, and sometimes Ian Boldsworth makes Barry Dodds read out emails that they get from America in an American voice, and he can't do an American accent. And it makes me cringe so hard, my teeth start eating themselves. I... no. Painty Mike! Oh, oh are you? Fancy seeing who I didn't know you were still working at the docks. Why, I'm just fine, young lady. You what know is that? Me. Painting is my name and claim to fame. On where there's a boat to lack, you'll find Painted Mac. Yeah. I'm still here, by the way. 
I just don't know what to say. Thank fuck. So we just push this into the... Wow, this is... There we go. That was the most challenging part of the game thus far, trying to deal with this boat. So I guess we just push it until we hit water. And then we're good to go. Candice is back and I'm still playing in. Nope. Stronger than ever and now yep. I'm singing. Nope. Forget the nope. others cause they're all minging. Well, it's doing its own thing now, it's out of my hands. Back and I'm still playing in. It's a um. new era. And Candice <laughs> is the queen. Oh, we can just walk under the water though, that's good. No, we can't do anything with that. So how do I get... I gotta get up. I guess we go up this slope here. Ah, oh, there we go, brilliant. Yes, on the boat. Thank you! And there we go. Automatically over here. Hey, you. You're a magical bitch, right? Please, help me. My house has been overrun by sexy ghosts. I've heard better Brummy accents. Sexy ghosts, you see? Every other accent. I know a thing or two about those, to be honest. Let me sort it out for UXX. All right, more platforming action. These ghosts are the best drawn thing, but what the... What? Let's try again. Oh, I guess I went too far that way. But what exactly am I supposed to do? Well, potion time for defos. Boink. 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 Let's, uh... We get pushed back Boink. quite a ways by the ghosts, but we can't go too far back because otherwise we'll just leave the building. Boink. Boink. No, don't get caught on the fucking... Ow! No, just Boink. clear... Just run to Boink. the next checkpoint. No, Boink. don't get caught on the... Boink. 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 Ow! Ow! Boink. Ow! All right, that Boink. was all of a bad idea. Boink. But the Boink. checkpoint Boink. helps, Boink. so... If we get pushed back too far, we'll de have Boink. to deal with another ghost. Boink. Boink. This is... It's so Boink. bad to control. Boink. 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 you got to hear Boink. 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 Every time you jump. Boink. Boink. Stop it. Boink. Stop it now, please. Boink. Boink. Oh, Boink. shit. Boink. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just find a checkpoint, Boink. find a checkpoint. There we go. Ow. You know what? Ow. It's easier to die here. And then we... Oh, no, she was stuck in the fucking floor! Boink. Oh, Boink. that was horse shit. Oh, again, I'm just going to try and run to a new checkpoint. No, no, don't get caught on the... Why would you do that? Oh, good, a bus. Alright, I'm not talking much here because I'm trying to concentrate. You know, we're, we're in a real Dark Souls situation now. And you can't repress me. Just cause you ain't as sexy. Because you gotta deal not only Boink. with the enemies, but any part of the in Oh well. More than anything, you've got to deal with the game crashing again. That'll do, I think. That was worse than the first one. And it lost a lot of the surprise factor and, and what the fuck, because we'd already seen what the fuck was last time. Um the fact that it can't stay running for very long without crashing just seals the deal. So that's Candice to Bay Bay Scandalous Secrets, a piece of shit.